HP Remote Graphics software comes preloaded on every HP workstation, enabling you to remotely access the full workstation desktop, including the most graphics and compute-intensive programs from any PC. In this video, we'll walk you through the entire process of downloading, activating, and using HP RGS. We'll even include some tips to help you get the most out of this powerful productivity tool. You can get the latest version of HP RGS on hp.com go RGS. The downloads are divided into sender and receiver and just receiver. The sender is the software you need on the HP workstation that has your applications. The receiver is the software for the PC you will connect from. You may also want to install the receiver on your HP workstation so you can connect to other HP workstations and collaborate. Before you install a new version of HP RGS, make sure to uninstall any previous versions from your computer. Now, the next step, whether you're a sender or a receiver, is to double-click the setup.exe. You will then be asked to set your preferences for remote USB and clipboard behavior. If you don't know, click, I'm not sure, I want more information. You will also be asked if you wish to enable WAN improvements. This refers to HP Velocity, which, like advanced video compression, is a new feature on RGS 6.0. Both require a one-time activation. HP Velocity delivers improved WAN performance, so you can access workstation data and applications from more places. Its adaptive network analysis also mitigates packet loss and provides Wi-Fi acceleration. With advanced video compression, you can cut your bandwidth usage in half, making it great for video or networks with limited bandwidth. But do note that the feature will increase your CPU usage, so only enable it if you need to reduce network bandwidth consumption. To activate HP Velocity and advanced video compression, make sure you have internet access on the receiver system. If you need a proxy, indicate that during the HP RGS install process or you can do it manually on the Network tab. And if you don't have internet access, check with HP Support. If you selected WAN improvements at install, HP Velocity will be activated when you first make a connection. After the installation process, you can activate Advanced Video Compression by selecting it under the Performance tab of the Settings menu. Activation takes place when you first connect. After installing the software for the sender on your workstation and the receiver on your local PC, you can connect to a remote workstation on the network using HP RGS. On the RGS home screen, just type in the host name or IP address of the workstation and hit Connect. There are a couple things to remember when connecting. First, note that the remote screen of the sender will go black once connected. Don't worry, this is just a security precaution to protect the privacy of your work. Second, you can choose between a bordered desktop view with scroll bars or a borderless full screen view, whichever works for you. Another cool thing about HP RGS is its ability to automatically match the resolution of the two systems. Before connecting, just go to the Connection tab and select Match Receiver Display Resolution in Settings. Now you can enjoy remote access to your most graphics intensive applications. But remote access is just the beginning. HP RGS is also a powerful collaboration tool that allows you to connect with colleagues near and far. To add someone to your remote session, they simply need to connect to the same sender using different credentials. The primary user can then accept them and grant them full control or view-only access. If you're one of multiple users with full access and you're all connected to the same remote workstation, you can take turns controlling the mouse and keyboard. Whoever moves the mouse first has control. Once you stop, it's available for someone else, making for a fluid, collaborative environment. Now that you're set up and know the basics, here are some tips you can use to optimize performance. Let's start with the quality slider. Use this cool feature to boost the frame rate and responsiveness. HP RGS gives you full control so you can balance performance and image quality in your network environment. You can also use the adaptive image quality capability to set a minimum image quality and establish the target update rate. RGS will make adjustments on the fly to give you the best experience. If you see screen tearing, try the Force Full Screen Image Updates in the Performance tab. 
If bandwidth limitations still prevent you from getting the quality and performance you need, check the Advanced Video Compression box in the Performance tab. Just note that you will need to be disconnected to do this. The feature also gives you the flexibility to put the encoding work on your CPU or graphics card, which can also impact performance. To further reduce bandwidth, you can also check Don't Stream Audio from Sender in Settings on the Audio tab. For network timeouts, set the threshold based on the quality of your network connection. And you can learn the hotkeys via the Hotkeys tab to initiate special actions by the receiver. Finally, there is RGS's directory mode. This convenient feature enables you to automatically open connections to multiple remote computers. To set up directory mode, you will need to create a directory file with the information of the remote workstations you wish to access. Only HP workstations come with built-in workstation class remote access. To learn more about HP remote graphics software and how to incorporate it into your workflow, consult the user's manual or visit hp.com GoRGS.